what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of error or issue you're currently having with the elder scrolls 5 skyrim so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am so the first step i would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to navigate to your taskbar you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager navigate to the top left spot uh, top left corner click on the processes and once you click processes i want you to click one of those random processes doesn't really matter which one and once you clicked it i want you to type in the name of your game and if nothing pops up it's good for you if something pops up simply right click and end the task Afterwards, you're able to enter the task manager again, navigate to the bottom left corner, click into the window symbol, open up your settings, navigate right into update and security and stick around Windows update. What I want you to do here is going to be to simply download the latest version of your Windows driver because it will fix a lot of issues and errors. So once you're finished with that, enter task, task and do the same thing for your graphics card. Once you're finished with that, take your in-game shortcut on your desktop or your game shortcut, sorry, your launch shortcut, you're going to right click it. Go to the very bottom where it says properties, you're going to hit compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run this program compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. So once you saw that, you're going to double click it, launch a game with the launcher, launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. Launcher, launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. 